Citizens of planet Irata Vixlu, your world has been scanned and compressed into a smaller file for efficient storage and preservation. You are welcome. The largest planet database in the galaxy is one planet closer to completion. Finally, every spot on the D through E shelf will now be full. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Planet Irata Vixlu is now damaged. My collection can only assimilate planets in mint condition. Ah! Recalculating, recalculating, recalculating. Circuit balance restored. Now I must calculate an alternative world that will go between the Zs and Iber. If only there was another planet that started with EA. Searching. Searching, searching, ah, required data file located. The very planet that Darkseid told me about in my digital suggestions box. The planet Earth. Aha, aha, aha. Recalculating. When Martian Manhunter, Green Arrow, and Batman team up, criminals like Cheetah and Vandal Savage don't stand a chance. And now to meet up with the rest of the League, the Justice League. Strange to think that only last year I was hesitant to join them. And now I could not be more proud to be a member of the most dedicated, intrepid, and professional band of heroes history has ever known. Let's see what they're up to. 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98. Flash, I can still hear you trying to find a hiding spot. Better hurry. 99. No. 100. Ready or not, here I come. And Green Lantern is behind the armchair. Hey, no fair. I thought we said you couldn't use your superpowers. X-ray vision much? I didn't. It was the only piece of green furniture in the Hall of Justice. Oh. Right. <sighs> Cyborg is in Wonder Woman's invisible jet. Dang! How does he do it? Golly, Cyborg, I keep telling you, Wonder Woman's plane is invisible, except for the person in it. Really? Why would that be helpful in any way? <gasps> Vic! I found Wonder Woman! 
Oh, I'm sorry, Wonder Woman. You gave up your hiding space and lost the game just to keep me from doing something dumb. And I know how competitive you are. Think nothing of it, Cyborg. On Paradise Island, we Amazons learn that the well-being of others is always what matters most. Man, she is so nice! <laughs> you couldn't find me. I hid in the perfect place. New York? <laughs> How does he do it? Go. <laughs> Superman, you really are the best at hide-and-go-seek. You can find anybody. Aw, oh, gee, thanks. You know, when I was in the Scouts uh... as a kid, they always told me to be prepared. <clears throat> oh, hey, Batman! Uh, we were just, um, honing our skills of camouflage and, 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 and being stealthy, you know, like you. Instead of performing your scheduled duties of monitoring the world for injustice, you were playing hide-and-go-seek. Superman was it and found each of you within two minutes. He really is the world's greatest detective. Gee whiz, Bruce. I'm sorry we didn't invite you to play. We just... Secret identities are not to be mentioned while in costume as stated in the Justice League rulebook, page one. Our friendly exercise didn't seem like the kind of thing you'd enjoy, Batman. Not like, uh, fighting crime. Friendly exercise. I understand completely. My dark and mysterious nature terrifies criminals, intimidates my enemies and discourages friendships. I'm okay with that. What? Don't be silly. Of course you're our friend. We're all friends. We're like super friends. Super best friends? Like Jupiter and Poseidon. Buddies, amigos. Uh, let's be honest. This is the guy whose favorite pastime is dreaming up ways to defeat each of us should we suddenly turn evil. I bet he's carrying kryptonite in his back pocket right now. I don't have back pockets. And you sure don't have faith in your colleagues here either. It's hard to call a guy like that a friend. Well, I suppose Batman's not so much of a let's hang out and goof off friend. He's more of a let's get things done friend. Right. Exactly. Like if we were doing something important like fighting crime or painting Wonder Woman's apartment, we'd totally call you. No need to explain. I don't need friends. The Dark Knight walks alone. Batman. Cyborg's mobile trouble alert. The threat appears to be space-based. Readjust the league satellite to coordinates Delta 27 Grid 5. On it. There it is. I see something. Increasing resolution. Oh, no. You know what that is? Yes, I do. And we have to stop it before it reaches Earth. To the javelin. <laughs> Prepare for launch. Everyone buckle in. Eh, who needs a seatbelt? I can run faster than this bucket. Three, two, one, blast off. <laughs> Everyone. Everyone needs to buckle up. <laughs> Every time. Okay, I see your point. Superman, you said you know what this thing is? Unfortunately, that ship belongs to a sentient robot named Brainiac. More like dumb Namiac, am I right? I'm high-fiving you for that, but my heart isn't in it. Computer, access Kryptonian database from Superman Baby Rocket. That's the alien rocket that brought you to Earth as an infant from your doomed planet. Yes, I know. Brainiac was designed to be the ultimate artificial intelligence, built to catalog the existing universe for future generations. Unfortunately, due to an accident and a glitch in his programming, Brainiac now scours the galaxy looking for planets to capture and permanently preserve in his growing collection. Oh, I totally get the impulse. I collect commemorative coffee mugs. <laughs> this one is from Niagara Falls. This uh, one is from the Grand Canyon. This one is a souvenir coffee mug from a factory that uh, makes coffee mugs. <laughs> Please, stop. I did not come back to Earth to listen to Flash talk about coffee mugs.